Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This video is my, I'm gonna call it my annual, I've only done it twice, this is my third video, but last year at the same time period, I did a video where I show you guys how much my hair grew out in one year, because it's been one year since I've colored it, dyed it, bleached it, highlighted it, did anything to it at all, and just let my natural hair color completely grow out. And it's funny because I'm doing this video because I think a lot of people are searching this topic. My most viewed bit video is actually from like four and a half years ago where I talked about growing out my natural hair color, where like I completely grew out my natural hair color all the way through. Can't remember how long it took me. I think it was like over two years, maybe two and a half years to totally grow out my hair. Um, this has only been a year and so Let's show you. As you can kind of see, it's grown out like about to here in one year. Um, I would say that my hair grows pretty slow compared to a lot of people that I see, um, which is fine. And the reason that I only get my hair highlighted once a year is reason number one it is way more much better for my pocket, for my budget, because it is ridiculously expensive to go get my hair highlighted. Um, last year and the year before when I did them, it was like almost $200. I mean, that's just crazy. I know uh, it's less money just to go get your roots touched up. That's still, you're going every month or two months to get your hair touched up. It can really add up. And I just want to have a low maintenance, um, look and hair color and so I just go get it highlighted once a year and that's it. Also a lot of those chemicals and like the dyes and the treatment that they put on your hair really isn't that good for you. I mean hello cancer, um, it's just not good for you. So the less you can do that kind of stuff to your hair the better. So I'm still taking a risk by getting it done once a year but I like being blonde it's fun, I like how my hair looks, and when I did grow up my natural hair color, I liked it, it was pretty, but I just felt blah, it didn't feel like me, I really enjoy having highlights. And so yeah, um, in case you're thinking of growing out your natural hair color and you just want an idea of how long it will take or what it might look like, um, maybe you have similar hair color to me. But um, I think it's a really fun thing to do. I think everyone, if they've been coloring their hair since they were teenagers and they've been doing it ever since, I think everyone should just grow out their natural hair color at least once before their hair starts turning gray. So they can just really see like their natural hair color and just enjoy it because so many women start coloring their hair when they're like 14, 15 and they color their hair their entire lives and never just enjoyed their natural hair color. And so I did that and it was really worth it. I grew it out all the way and like enjoyed it just being a totally natural, light brunette, whatever hair color my hair color was for a year or so. And then I was like, all right, I gotta get highlights again. I like being blonde. So, but yeah, I find it funny that my most viewed video I think it has like 13,000 views is my video about growing out my natural hair color and I get a lot of comments under there of girls and women who are trying to grow out their natural hair color so hopefully this is helpful. Um, let's see if there's anything else I want to add. I think that's about it. I think my hair grew about the same amount from last year. If I'll link my video down below of the video I posted last year with this exact same thing. I let my hair grow out, didn't touch it for an entire year, and I think it grew out about the same rate. So um, I'm definitely going to get my hair colored, um, highlighted again, uh, maybe sometime this summer. I just like being blonde, it's fun, and I already did that whole process of growing out my natural hair color enjoying it for a while until my hair starts turning gray and a lot of women their hair starts turning gray in their late 30s so i still have quite a bit more time until hopefully my hair starts turning gray but you never know um, hopefully this video was helpful to you guys um, let me know if you have any questions or any video suggestions 
Um, hope you are all doing well. I will see you in the next video. Ciao.